South, you are bowling for the 2022 State Bowling Boys Singles Championship. Welcome in everybody. It is the finals of the 2022 NSA State Boys Singles Bowling Championships here from Sun Valley Lanes in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Alec Rome alongside Eric Allgood. And Eric, quite an interesting path to this final as we get going here. Blake Paul Hamas from Papillion La Vista South starting off as he has most of the day with a strike. I think Blake has been pretty consistent throughout his path to the final. He had to fend off a tough challenge from Miller North's Jeffrey Birkenthal. It was actually down in uh, frame one of game two and ended up just through consistency and staying focused, bringing that one back. And meanwhile, the loud chance of the eight seed by just five pins. Ryland Prokopek from Columbus sneaks in to the bracket stage and gets all the way and defeats Nathaniel Centineo from Bellevue West, who bowled a 300, the first perfect score in NSAA history, and he beats him by four in the semi. And as we go to frame two, yes, what are you looking for in this match today? Well, I just wanted to mention, so I saw, saw Ryland in his, in his uh, little bit of his quarterfinal where he took down Cooper Nichols of uh, Lincoln Pius X, who was the one seed after the qualifying rounds, and then uh, came right down to the end. It looked like Sensatio kind of had things on in the bag. Uh, uh, maybe not in the bag, in the pocket. I'm not sure right. what the exact bowling term would be there. But things looked really good for Sensatio, and then it was five straight strikes at the end, and it came down to one throw for Prokopek, and he needed five pins, and he got nine on his very last throw in the third throw of the 10th frame, and that was enough to send him here to this championship. Every pin counts, and staying focused is the name of the game. Again, folks, two games, total pinfall of those two games decides our state champion here for 2022. Last year, it was a Fremont bowler. It will be a new school winning a singles title, and we've gone three straight strikes apiece for both. Yeah, the thing I noticed about Prokopek, never got real high, never got real excited about a throw, never got real down on himself after a bad throw or anything right. like that. Steady Eddie, and it will be, a, you know, that's, that's one of the ways you get to this championship match. And uh, now a little little door open there. Little door open as Paul Hamas leaves the 4-6. Again, like I said, in that first match for Paul Hamas, even when splits came up, he was able to bring it back. And a strike on the other side from Prokopek, punishing the mistake. Tell you what, I mean, that's you, you got to take advantage, right? But Prokopek is just picking up exactly where he left off after swings it around at the end of the right. uh, semifinal. Prokopek, what is probably now on somewhere like nine of ten throws in a row being strikes. Exactly. Yep. And so far, has the perfect game. Can he be the second? Bowler and oh, that's history. early. That's <laughs> I like know a no true. hitter in the third, uh, man. Right. Come on. But yeah, maybe. That'd be fun. The fifth. And a fifth. A chain reaction taking out the lead pin. By Five the, of 12. Uh, the first guy right behind these two watching them is uh, Sententio, by right. the way. Right. As now on the side, at least he has a commemorative pin and the history he will forever be etched in history books. But unfortunately, not as a state champion. It will either be Ryland or Blake. And again, Blake leaving a pin. This time it's the seven. Already with an open frame, cannot afford to go two in a row here. But he does. He puts it in the gutter now. It was interesting, too. He ended up having a good bounce during one of the games and hit the 10 pin after he went into the gutter, but they didn't count it. And I believe the luck in that semifinal match definitely went the way of Blake, but it looks like it's going Ryland's way right now as he tries for a sixth perfect frame. And you betcha! Six in a row. And again, if you could see his face, and I know the lighting isn't great in here for us anyway, that might be six six in a row. It might be, oh, I knocked down two that time. You right. just can't really tell by looking at him. Needing to respond here and does with a nice strike. 
You know, it's also for Ryland, it's the same um, – kind of looking at the same matchup since it's a left-handed bowler so he's he's faced left-handed bowlers in in the mm -hmm. semifinals and now in the championship right and it really requires some different lines sometimes it makes the the seven pin a little harder to hit because you're so used to sweeping the ball in left to right to keep the streak going oh and it ends right there the perfect game threat ends in the seventh frame and it might not be the only news we get. This would be huge for a strike here from Blake and leaves it well wide of the lead pin, leaving the three and the five. A uh, tough one here for Prokopak. We'll see if he tries for both or takes the medicine on the one. You gotta he, try to cut it in. He was going for both. Yeah, wasn't he was going he? for both. I mean, he was, he was trying to put this thing away. He's already got a 53 pin lead as of right now. Won't stay that way as the potential closed frame. Got to clean it up and does. No problem. Bahamas from Pepe La Vista South does eke this match a little closer and especially we'll see the differential. It says 49 right now. We'll get a little closer if Blake continues to close frames. Meanwhile, after six perfect throws in a row, to get back on the horse. Prokopek. Crowd cheering for the ball to go, and it does. As a passionate contingent here. Yeah, they're very passionate. They are they are willing the ball to go where it needs to go. And uh, it's, it's I haven't been to curling, but it's got to sound like that. You know, the, the, right. the sweep, the not sweep, and yep. all the yelling like that. I love it. And a nice answer from Paul Hamas, too. Like I said, Paul Hamas, he's down 39 pins. He was somewhere in that ballpark before in his quarterfinal. Here's Prokopek in the ninth. Can't will that pin to go down that time. <laughs> This would be huge for bringing it closer. And the bounce goes. Like I said, you need a little bit of luck to win a state championship in any sport. And that nice little bounce off the sidewall. And, and something i got to note, I've, I've loved everything I've seen today, When, especially since we've gotten in the brackets. Every throw, when you come back to the ball return, a little fist bump from your right. opponent. Great sportsmanship, without a doubt. Prokopek. He took the long way, didn't he? Yeah, he really did. <laughs> so things slightly closer again. Blake could really use the continued pattern of strikes. He's striked three of the last four frames, trying to make it four or five here in the beginning of the tenth, and he does. Sticking with the plan, and like we said, the board just updated. Now it's only a nine-pin difference with Prokopek to throw. Oh, and this time it's a huge leave. Especially at the beginning part of the 10th frame where you really would love to start off with the strike. Paul Hamas to get back in it. Kicking and willing that one into the pocket for the strike. And at this pace... After being down, what, 50 pins, mm -hmm. Paul Hamas might take the lead into game two. He was down 51 pins in the sixth and he at will, the end of the sixth. He will take it in as unable to close the tenth frame. Wow. So it's 215 to 220 with this throw, more than five pins, and we will have a lead change here oh. in the state championship final. And it's more than five. It's another 10 strikes out through the last three frames to take a five-pin advantage into the latter half of the state championship final, Eric. What a comeback here from Paul Hamas. Great job by Blake Paul Hamas there. To stay with it and, you know, got down early. Like we said, down 51 pins there at one point. But stay the course, keep with your game plan, and uh, pick the spots, hit them well there in the late stages. That is almost 
almost exactly what Ryan Prokopek did in the semifinal match right. in the second game to get to this championship match. So now we go straight into game two. And again, it's a two-game total for the championship. Can Prokopek bring it back? Yes, yeah, starts off the second game with a strike. The stone-faced killer look of Prokopek <laughs> as he walks back to the chairs now. Paul Hamas, after five strikes in a row, will make it six in a row. Keeping that edge. We started off going tit for tat in the first few frames of game one. And now every pin matters, especially when things are so close. There have been some great close matches throughout the bracket stage today. And this one will be no different. Big throw for Proka Peck. And I can't lie, it would have distracted me. There was a, a machine back here that went off like one of the crane machines, went off really loud right as he was about to throw. Is it a winner, though? I don't know if it's a winner or not. And Paul Hummus. Paul Hummus can't respond either. He leaves the seven. But I was going to say, he was Prokopek was getting to throw, and just as he was starting that approach, something loud went off. I'm like, oh, I noticed that. You wonder if that might have been responsible. Anything that breaks your, your train of thought, especially in a skill game like bowling, this is huge. Easy pickup, though, on the 4-7. And now Paul Hamas. Again, he's had a few problems with those sevens just because as a left-handed bowler, you're trying to not necessarily curl it in, but hold the line and does well there. Paul Hamas, or uh, Prokopek, up five. Is that, am I reading that right? Yeah, 255, 250. That's uh, Paul Hamas up five. Paul Hamas. Yep, he's still up five. We're tied through yep. two in game two. And again, just skirting by. Looks like that six pin just skirted past the 10 and left it. Any strike will make a difference. Ooh, and just doesn't get them all as he holds his head walking back to the table. He really didn't like that throw. I think he was beneficial to get nine there. Got nine and a half there, I think. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Prokopek to clean up the 10 and does swing it in nicely again. Those are the things you practice, I'm sure, all throughout the year. The easy one pins. One pin is one pin. And catching it on the left side as well as Paul Hamas. And we stay even in the second game. A five-pin advantage still for Paul Hamas in the state championship final. Man. Each throw getting more intense with higher stakes. Both throwers strike, spare, spare here in the second game. And it's a strike for Ryland in the fourth. The only thing I've noticed about Ryland, the, the face mask has gone a little more under the chin now. <laughs> Tucked it in. Oh, and that time again off the sidewall with the pin, and it, it jiggles both the 6 and the 10, but they don't drop. And now we finally see the first peak of light here, potentially, for Prokopek in the match. Gets them both. No open frames through four. And now a two-pin advantage, or rather a three-pin advantage for Paul Hamas. But with the strike, it may not stay that way. As here's Prokopek, can he follow up? He does. Two in a row. Paul Hamas in the fifth. Can it slide over? No, that pin falls down and again leaves the seven. And now it is crunch time. Cannot make any mistakes here. Oh, 
Everything's going to count. And again, like we said, Eric, every once in a while, he's clapping, he's keeping himself together. You've got to move on from it. But that one pin Oof. could loom very large by the end of this one. Total score 310 to 279, but it's really 310 to 309 with Prokopek to throw here. A strike would really put it away, but he will not strike. Oh, man. Got a late one there, didn't he? Yeah, couldn't. I, I think I, I've never heard a cheer that loud from going from eight to nine pins because <laughs> the difference was a huge split to take down. Paul Hamas has to get some of these to go and does get a strike. Good Nicely start. done. Yep, good start there. And this is this is crunch time for both. Obviously, we're we're on a you know sixteen pin difference right now with with a yet another throw for Prokopek. But uh, yeah, this is uh, you know we're getting to the bottom of the eighth right now, and uh, absolutely the closers are out. Prokopek will take down the easy one down the center of the lane, and after that it's three thirty eight to three twenty in pinfall. See the important. Numbers to look at right underneath that seventh frame for both players is what you're really looking at as far as differential. Paul Hamas here in the seventh. He goes Brooklyn opposite side and leaves the five. Mm. Even he's like, well, I don't even know what that was. It was fine when it left my hand and then it just kept right, moving. Right, it just moved. And again, that's the, the interesting thing about bowling, the oil patterns. It's almost like the the – the playing field mm -hmm. changes as the game goes on. The same throw might do two different things, Ooh. and they switch lanes, and now this is a huge moment. Wow. Prokovac leaves a pretty difficult split here. It's like a, I think that's, is that a 7-9? Seven 7-9, nine? Seven nine, yes. Oh, that's ugly. It's one step off the 7-10, and Paul Hamas closes the frame. So now... It's a 14-point difference on the pinfall. If Prokopek is unable to pick this up, Paul Hamas will have the momentum. This is huge. Swinging it, and it looks good, and it just doesn't hit the pin. It was a great effort. That was absolutely everything you could have done except get it. Like, that was, that was the perfect effort right there, the right line, the right idea, and just missed it by an eighth of an inch. 15-pin difference, but Paul Hamas can follow it up with a strike. Paul Hamas, uh, Blake throwing throwing strong still. And, you know, this we're, we're talking 10 games of full-speed throwing plus all of your warm-ups. So fatigue at some point, and I know you these guys these guys bowl a lot, right? But at some point, that's a lot of throws. And again, can't will the four-pin to go in. And after being so consistent throughout the first you know, probably 15 frames of this match. Prokopek cannot find an X on the scorecard. He still maintains the pinfall lead right now, but the edge is definitely with Paul Hamas after he's closed three frames in a row. Cannot afford to leave this open right now, Eric. And will not, straight down the center of the pin. Ace the math test, get the yep. late spare, same difference. Prokopek from Columbus, 365. Paul Hamas from Papillion La Vista South, 360. And he tries to push the strike through on lane 27 and does not get it. There was an ultimate fighter move coming right. there, wasn't there? I've seen a kick. I've seen shoves. Anything to get that pin to fall. Jersey Jensen was runner-up in the girls' championship earlier today. Every throw had a kick, a lean, a punch, a something. Big Pro throw here for Prokopek. And gets the strike. Wow. Trying to shut the door and win the 2022 NSA State Boys Singles Bowling title. A critical pin. No problem, straight down the middle. And now we play the 10th frame. The score right now, 385 to Prokopek, 380 to Paul Hamas. It's a five-pin affair. Again, Eric, just like we saw in the semifinal, 
anything can happen in these moments. This is the exact opposite of what happened to Ryan Pro Prokopek in his semifinal. Now he's got the lead, though. Tenth frame, first throw, huge moment. Calling for it, he gets the strike. He almost smiled. Did you see that? Almost <laughs> smiled. You can hear a pin drop. And for Paul Hamas, he needs 10 to. Can he get 10? Again, the seven standing like a stone. And folks, that might be it if Prokopek picks up the strike here. It'll be a championship. He does! Ryland Prokopek, and the crowd seems to know, folks. He has 425. Paul Hamas says 398. We'll pick up the spare. But the totals say it is impossible. Ryland Prokopek beats Nathaniel Centineo by just four pins in the semifinal. Came down to his last throw in the 10th frame. It will not do so here for the celebratory. Three in a row doesn't get it, but it doesn't matter. Ryland Prokopek is your 2022 Nebraska State bowling champion for the singles. Finishing with a score of 434 here in the final. And the last throw of nine closes it out. Ryland Prokopek from Columbus, your champion in 2022. Award ceremonies coming up here in just a few minutes uh, as they will award the medals for all of the top eight finishers. Again, I want to say thank you to Alec joining out joining us today, Dante Bolhauer, Nathan Latterhoff has, has been here. You're Alec Rome, by the way. I'm sorry. I said <laughs> That's right. last name. Alec Rome here today. My name is Eric Algott. Thank you to Dan Masters at the NSAA. Dan is the exec, uh, assi ex <laughs> assistant director in charge of bowling and uh, does a really nice job, handles unified bowling as well uh, back in December. But uh, Dan is great to work with. John Lacito is the proprietor here of Sun Valley Lanes, and there is nobody that cares about his facility, the competitions within it, and that everybody has a good time and has a fair chance to do what they do best. Uh, John's awesome to work with. Anything we ask of him, he tries his absolute best to make happen. So uh, really, really appreciative of John and the entire crew here at Sun Valley Lanes. But we've got the medals and awards coming up very soon. Stick with us here on Strive TV's coverage of the NSAA State Bowling Championships. Become a new Strive school. Join a community of educators and students. Get access to support, resources, and education. Your fans watch for free, and there's even a new revenue opportunity for your school. Contact sales at strive.tv to sign up your school to become a Strive school. <laughs> Download the new and improved Strive mobile app for your iOS device. Never miss an event. Get updates, scores, and notifications direct to your iOS device. Download the new and improved Strive iOS app today. medals to these outstanding bowlers. Presentations will be made by NSAA Executive Director Jay Beller and NSAA Board of Directors Kathy Wieskamp from Lincoln Public Schools and Dr. John Cerny from Bancroft Rosalie and U.S. Bank Representative Julie Sage. Bowlers, as your name is called, please come forward to receive your medal. In eighth place, Broken Foot of Wayne High School. In seventh place, Alexander Reeson from Fremont High School. In 
In sixth place, Cooper Nichols of Lincoln Pius X. In fifth place, Jeffrey Birkinsall of Millard North High School. In fourth place, Nathaniel Centineo of Bellevue West High School. In third place, Garrett Hansen from McCool Junction High School. In second place, Blake Paul Hamas from Papillion La Vista South. And your 2022 Boys Singles State Bowling Champion is Ryland Prokopek of Columbus High School. Congratulations, Ryland. All right, so again, we want to say thank you to everyone for joining us today on Strive's coverage of the NSAA State Bowling Championships. Alec, this is fun. We should do it again sometime. I think we should. I've done this two years in a row. It's an absolute blast. I mean, like you said before, just um, parroting everything you said about this location. It's just wonderful, wonderful championship that they established. And uh, this is the best place in the state, without a doubt, for bowling. And uh, it, it shows in all the events that they've hosted here. And uh, I'm sure we will see another bowling championship come right back here next year. I, and I hope we'll be here for it. I, I hope so, too. So thank you again, everybody, for joining us today on our coverage of the NSAA State Bowling Championships. We will see you, uh, let's see, Friday night. We'll be sure. in Gra Grand Island. Sure. Heartland Hoops.